greetings and congratulations on your number one hit. Yay, 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 yay. Um, unfortunately, Marsala put it on your fake Lena Prima account. Um, so you can listen to it without buying it on iTunes. Um, but, oh man, you are knocking out of the park. I don't, you're thinking differently. Uh, maybe because of uh, Ida and everything else, you had to reinvent yourself, but you've done very well doing so. Um, I invited you to come stay with me during Ida. Tim's not welcome. But um, that would have been so nice. Um, I'm glad you're okay. I'm really, the only thing I'm worried about now is the mold in Louisiana. Anyway, for anyone that's watching, um, I'm Jane Doe. I found out several years ago uh, that I was raised with a family that was not my own. Um, I did not know that. I also didn't know I had a twin sister. Um, since then, it's been multiple years of researching, and I haven't talked to the, the family that I believe was my biological family for over 10 years. Um, they were horrible anyway, um, and I went no contact a long, long time ago. But uh, it turns out that about the age of 12, the family um, kidnapped me. They left the country, they went to the Philippine Islands, and in tandem to that, uh, my twin sister was removed by our mother um, so that our biological father no longer had, um, oh you're wondering, uh, no longer had any relationship with us. Things went well. Um, so, so to back up, I'm going to just start with um, the basics because people have asked me, wait, wait, tell me this, tell me that. Uh, they're interested. Some people will cry. Some people will be like, I just got full body goosebumps. Like, oh my God, some people will say, like, I'll meet him randomly. Can you please, here's my email. Can you tell me when you meet your sister? Or uh, there's people invested. It's an interesting story. But um, we were born in 1963, my twin sister and I, who I did not know existed up until a few years ago. Um, I won't say her name because she doesn't like that. Um, but my twin sister and I were born to a very wealthy man, John Hay Whitney. Uh, he was married to Betsy Cushing Roosevelt and um, he had an affair and as a result uh, Joanne Mayone, who became uh, Louis Prima's wife, Gia Prima, she got pregnant and in 63 there was no ultrasound, no way of telling and so they must have got a big surprise. Um, when we were delivered um, I, there was a recounting in which uh, the, the nurse or the doctor said, hold on a minute, there's another. But in the 60s, they uh, had stillborns and spina bifida, whatever, you know, and triplets. So, so twins was a surprise. Um, I believe our birthdays are um, August 10th, 1963. And I believe that our father had his closest friend, Richard Schaefer, place his name on the birth certificate. And so we would be, I believe I'm Barbara Joan, which is... Um, my father's sister is Joan, and my father's closest co cousin, Cornelius Vanderbilt Whitney, his younger baby sister is Barbara. So I think I was named after the two sisters that were closest. And I won't tell you what my twin, she's Carol Ann, uh, which was my best friend growing up. I don't know why they had the same name. But um, so I believe we're Carol Ann and Barbara Joan Schaefer. Uh, spelled S-C-H-A-F-E-R, and we were born in Yonkers County, which is right across the the water from where my father lived in Manhasset. Uh, there was a story about um, a woman going into premature labor, which would have happened with twins, and that my father had to take his yacht, Af Aphrodite, and run the gal into the hospital. I don't know whether or not my twin has an accounting of that, but um, I believe that was how we arrived. <laughs> Yacht over to Yonkers. I think it's uh, St. John Riverside. Um, but some of those things, like, like I said, I'm, I'm Jane Doe. I was raised uh, with a birth certificate and a birth name that is not um, in any way uh, remotely close to my uh, my legal birth name. Um, and it's, it was a real victory to, to believe that I found it. I, I need some backup. So anyway, hello. Um, uh, she, uh, her hair looks so different. Is she wearing a wig or something? <laughs> well, how do you think I got this thick hair? I, I took it from Kelly and Giadia, or, uh, Giadia, uh, uh, um, G 
Giada, is that her name? Because they were wearing wigs. It's fun, and I don't have to do my hair. So anyway, congratulations on your number one five, uh, five months, two days, uh, two weeks, two days, two, my baby, do, 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 do. It was good. I had never heard of, I had never heard of you till a few years ago, but I had never heard of Frankie Marino. And when I saw, I actually watched your old video, um, and oh my God, he brings out the best in everyone. Um, he's an uh, incredible performer. I'm, I'm not gonna watch all his videos like I have yours. By the way, if you look at the count, you can always like skim off five or six views uh, from me, cause it's so bizarre to see someone that looks like you running around. Oh, it's so, I don't, I don't know why you're not fascinated. Uh, Cause for me, it's just horrendous. Anyway, oh, it's a good video, the the one with him. And I, I emailed him, but no one's answering me. Uh, I'm some scary person, but I was, I just wondered, when did he figure out that like he could play from behind? Oh, I'm wearing my pajamas still, yeah. That's how I roll. Um, like, how did he first figure out that he could play backwards? And his brain has to be wired differently to be able to do that. That could not be an easy skill. I would like to try if I had a piano, but, um, oh, he's energetic. The way he comes alive and he's clapping it, and the way he was able to bring you into this number one, I, I just really, really think he's cool. I love his animals and his girlfriend when you were doing the interview. They are, um, a plus top level cream of the crop I'm really glad I hope he does very very well I'll probably pay attention so um, here we go oh let's start I mean here's the thing people like the stupid card things and the Trader Joe things I don't really I mean I'm I'm not running on a script I'm just rambling um, and I want to talk about conservatorship today but um, before I do that I'm just going to distract you with some nice things before I go into, um, <laughs> I'm not going to say it, the, the shock and awe campaign. So, um, here we go. Here's some magic cards today. Let's see what we have in store uh, here. They, I watch them. Some go, you know, like this and wait for it. Oh, there. Okay. So, two drop. I'm just going to do this one. I can't see what they are. So, here we go. Here's a card. I play to affirm the child, I play to affirm the child within me. Ooh, wish I wore my mic. I have um, presbyopia. <laughs> Sounds like a sexually transmitted disease, but you know, it's your, your muscles weaken as you get older and you can't see. I had more than 20-20 as an air traffic controller. I could find airplanes in the horizon so easily, but, uh, but I refuse. Sometimes I wear glasses. I'm going to read a lot, so you're just going to have to bear with me because I'm not going to put on glasses because no one sent me a uh, Sophia blue, 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 whatever glasses that your, your best friend gets. I would um, try to qualify what qualities you would want as a best friend because best friends would, uh, for me, would be people that were honest with me, that had my back. Um, and telling, lying includes keeping secrets. So uh, <laughs> let's, and not pen packing you. Now, I really was bothered with coffee time that she would continue to peck at, you know, did you just learn how to use a straw? Well, someone can eat 10 dozen donuts in a, who does that? Who? Anyway, you can tell she's not on my A number one list. I wish she wasn't on yours either. Anyway, okay, here we go. Play to affirm the child within me. Children live and learn by playing, and the child within us still lives and needs to play every day. You too may need more playtime. Without enough um, fun in our lives, we feel deprived and we may act out inappropriately. <gasps> okay, so we're gonna play. If I weren't under conservatorship and someone else was spending my money, I would be playing in Florida during the sea scallop season, diving for my body weight in scallops. I love scallops. Okay, if that isn't, did you like that? If that isn't enough, here we go. <gasps> Louise Hay. 
Oh, I just dropped a few of them. Sorry. I'm, I actually, here. Okay, pick one. Any one. What do you want? Uh, one that I can't really see. Here we go. What do you think I'm cheating on this? Okay, here we go. I can release the past and forgive everyone. Okay, that's not a good one. <laughs> not right yet. Uh, I free myself and everyone in my life from old past hurts. They are free, and I am free to move into new glorious experiences. Okay, I like that part. Listen, it's hard to forgive when no one even, I'm picking up the cards that I dropped, when no one even acknowledges that they did something wrong. So, um, here's some food things I'm going to tell you about. I'm just going to ramble, and then I'm going to get into the, uh, at the end. People seem to love that too, but, oh, here's that word for the day that I've thought about a thousand times, and I've never gotten to it. Then it's, here, let me show you, it's right in front of me. Uh, oh, crap. I am not going to do videos for a living. It's Sisu is the name of it. I think it's Finnish. Uh, I'm not going to be, just spare me, like, come and visit me so I don't have to, listen, I don't want anyone to, I'm actually very embarrassed, and I'm thinking, like, people from my school, like, oh my god, she's so fat, how does she, oh my god, you know, so anyway, Sisu is a noun, and it's a special strength and persistence, um, a persistent determination and resolve to continue and overcome in the moment of adversity, an almost magical quality, a combination of stamina, perseverance, courage, and determination held in reserve for hard times. I have Sisu, I think. I liked it. I, I, it's in a frame that I look at. I like to, I have a, I've just done a, a manifesting board. Oh boy. I'm, and look what I'm wearing. Ooh, it's a, uh, it's a seven power gemstones uh, ooh. you would like that because you're into that stuff um, uh, blue lapis I think that might be jade we have um, tiger eye this is black onyx I think I have no idea I think that's red jasper you would know I don't know um, I'm going the wrong way so I think that's like some kind of tree jasper I don't know it's so heavy I don't like wearing it uh, there's a purple I did it the wrong way so you can't see Where's the purple? Anyway, <laughs> it's bringing me magical powers. Did you um, pay attention? I see that you're not looking at letters to me that I have like one person, but like almost uh, 550 people have watched my stupid video because they see you and me, and if they know you, they're like, oh my God, that could, whoa. Do you think the whole story is true? How could someone to lie to someone about such monstrous, important things? Oh, they can. <laughs> they can. They can lie their whole lives if you're going to take care of them. If they get to spend your money and live the life of luxury, and you'll never know, yeah, they can lie. They can BS you uh, until you say that's it. So I've said, that's it, that <laughs> with my son. And um, I haven't started out very well with you. You obviously don't like me and you won't respond to me. And um, But I, I'm going to tell you something. When I was raising my son, I'll, I'll tell you a little example. He, he, we're getting ready for school every, every morning. He hates to be late. He's, he's always been punctual. So have I. I'm an air traffic controller. You don't show up late with flights. So it's just a discipline. It's a habit. But one morning we were, uh, things weren't going well. And when he stepped out of the front door, he fell and his backpack flew and his books and everything. Oh, he said, oh, this is a horrible day. Now we're going to be, and I go, Jeffrey, do me a favor. Go back inside. No, go back inside, go upstairs, and get in bed. I'm going to get in bed, too, and we're going to start all over again. And then I go, okay, you ready? And he came out, and I got out, and I go, I think let's go out to breakfast and just ditch school today. You want to look at the schedule and see whether or not there's any movies? Yeah, he says. And what I showed him is that you can, you know, you can shift and twist and, and start all over again. Uh, and so sometimes when we get in a fight, okay, let's stop. Let's start over again. So I would like to start over again and see whether or not um, 
done. I'm going to screw things up. I don't know how to be a twin or how to produce or, or um, provide you information. I, you know, this is the first time for me. And I know because I was horrified. I, it was so mind-blowing to me. And every, what's going to happen now is that every little event in your life, you will see through a different lens. You will see, like, my, you know, my family all comes down. I always ask about my, did you get your taxes done? Yeah, I get them, you know, I do them in January. I get a few thousand dollars back. And I go, yep, I got them back. I've already spent the money. Um, and then they come down and visit. Because they're going to take my tax returns, and then they're going to file a amended tax return and start moving money. They are very, very tricky. But when they come down, Rennell stays in my office with all my files and I'm very organized. And I'm down with my mother, we're watching whatever, or ice skating or, you know, beach like a whale because we've eaten a lot. And then um, I get up to do something and I, I'm going to go upstairs and my mother will go, Rennell! Rennell, are you? Because she doesn't want Rennell to, to be caught in my files. So, you know, it, it's a two-person deal. I'm sure you've had the same thing. It's horrific to see the reality. And then it's really like, we survived all of that. We just, I didn't have the discernment to not trust people or to question what they said. That's been a real <clears throat> detriment. Um, I will never go the other way. I love people too much. As a matter of fact, let's start with Trader Joe's. I was there getting my normal. I was gonna get my Brussels sprouts and show you. and. But who can, you can see, they're just frozen little things. Um, and I got my, my uh, bread and everything. But I wanted to start eating more salmon. I'm going to try to have kale because apparently it's good for, um, you know, people with gluten. And um, because I have psoriasis, I have psoriatic or arthritis. And I know that, that my joints are it's just beginning. It's in bad taste to ever talk about your health. But... Um, I, I'm really homeopathic. I don't like taking things, you know, so I'd rather take honey for allergies. By the way, <clears throat> I got myself an air cleaner that I'm running 24-7. I, you know, I, I know that our mother smoked yeah, when, when she was pregnant, uh, and so I have horrendous cats. Oh, my God. And for some reason, they like me. You know, so I'll go to a bookstore that's got a resident cat, and it'll be, I'll be the first one that gets sought out. You know, they're rubbing against me, and, you know, I'll go, Psst. you know, are you, are you hissing at the cat? Well, I'm allergic to them. I don't want them to jump up on me. Anyway, I can go into house shopping. I can walk in to a house. I don't care if they've hidden the kitty litter, and it's like hitting a wall. It is on my eyes, you know, they get golf balls. And I will sneeze like, you know, seven times in a row within, it's bad. So I have allergies. And I know that you're probably allergic to juniper. I wrote my little, I don't know if you're watching. I don't know why I'm, I am so repulsive to you. But anyway, tra let's go to Trader Joe's. This is really nice. I was there shopping and I got my salmon. And I always like, what's your favorite? You know, like the, the, um fried ravioli I tried that because it was one of the guys favorite and the um every or the condiment chips not condom um where they have ketchup and mustard and all that they said it's it's really horrible because you can't um i think i'll wear wigs more often um you can't stop eating them. So I was like, oh this is going to be like those churro chips you know they have that um these chips that are uh, like taco bell has those um they have cinnamon and sugar on them. Oh, I can't stop eating them. So, um, no, I tried them and they're not very good at all, but oh well. And I got that, it's a new citrus spice um, that they use on chicken and everything. It wasn't very great. I'm still going for the um, sofrito. Oh, oh, I'm at the very end of the second one. So good. I put it in a turkey meatball. Oh, um, a turkey meatball last night. I made them kind of like uh, porcupines with the rice and everything. But I put it in the meat and it just is so much more flavorful. I want you to make your own Alfredo. Oh my God, it's 19 minutes already. Um, I'm on my iPhone because my, anyway. So I'm not going to float all over the place. But just look up any Alfredo recipe. The one that I use, they use cream cheese in it. And anyway, heavy cream and everything. Oh, you will never, ever buy a jar of Alfredo sauce again. Here's some other things. You know, you get older and you try things for the first time and you're like, oh, how do I live without that? Have you ever tried rice pudding made by Cozy Chack? It's uh, 
It's really good. And of course, it's gluten-free is why I tried it. It's like eating condensed milk. Oh, my favorite yogurt, Nusa. N-O-S-A, that like the lemon or the honey or the raspberry. Oh, man. It's like eating cheesecake. But anyway, so I'm shopping. I get my salmon. And this gal throws three packages of um, the short ribs, Korean short ribs. In her, I go, that must, they must be good. Oh, she says, hey, we have one so we got to love it. So I was like, oh, and I went to grab it. And it was like $12.99. I go, ooh, you two, I'm going to get that next time I come. Um, and so she was a mommy. She had a little baby and everything. We visited. People are very, other than my family and the people stealing from me, the rest of the world is very kind to me. Um, and so I'm shopping, and she comes back. She's got a bag in her hand. She said, I want you to try it. Are you kidding me? I didn't tell her, but maybe two hours before I was up um, getting gas at Smith's. Ooh, I wonder where she is. Oh, what's the Smith's next to her? And um, this guy was in front of me giving change to the gas person. And she says, how much? And he says, oh, uh, what, whatever is there. Okay, it's like four seventy-two. So I gave him $10. I go, here you go. I know what it's like to be. So just, it was like immediate karma. I wish our family would get that car, but they are. I mean, they're, this is not good for them. This is, um, the reveal is coming. It's, um, you can't unring a bell. You can't, once the cat is out of the bag and it's out and running around, um, they're in deep trouble. Let me talk about that. Just, in, let me get off the food subject. Cozy Shack, the um, rice pudding, incredibly good. Burrata, if you love mozzarella. Barata is a cream-filled mozzarella. I just take a bite, put balsamic on it, take another bite, and the whole package um, never... Why is my... I look very dimply today. Um, so, um, I'll eat both balls. <laughs> Sorry, it sounds horrible. Uh, but I'll eat the... If I open up a, a fresh mozzarella, I'm going to eat the whole thing. I mean, it's serving size two. I've never met the second person. So anyway, and there's, um, I wrote it down so I, oh, 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 Castle Vetrano Green Olives. They have them in a lot of olive bar bars. They're from Sicily, and they are uh, the olives that they make olive oil out of. They are not like a regular olive. They're not briny. They're, they're I, I ate the whole container, you know, it's, uh, I just kept, and they have a seed in it. I like this like butter. If you've not tried it, it's really delicious. So, um, here's what I want to tell you. This Britney Spears thing really got my attention. And then click, click, click. It's like doing a Rubik's Cube, you know, where you just, and then you're like, holy, oh crap. <gasps> and so, what I, you know, if you go back to our story, we're kidnapped, we're hidden from our father. And they already know because the wife has already signed. Uh, Betsy signed a renunciation to Dower. She was not going to get the family property. It, fe it followed the bloodline. I don't know when she found out about us, or if she found out uh, when he passed and he saw the will, and she saw that he had left both of us the entire estate. I mean, the ten million's nothing uh, compared to the entire estate, and the and the the daughters got one million, which is cash, but it's not a lot of money for a man that was worth billions. Um, so anyway, they just wanted our money. They wanted the control of our money. They had to have solicited, you know, doctors that would be willing to compromise their integrity and their 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 license to make up horrible things about monstrously horrible things um, in order to maintain the conservatorship and you know dole out our money like Santa Claus. Um, to think that I'm in a hotel and I've, I've made mortgage payments my whole life, um, you know, to keep a roof over my head, and these people, you know, cheated at the game of life, and they're living in homes and will not allow us access. I would love to go to Aiken, so like 63 bedrooms. We somehow could squeeze in there and work things out. Even if you didn't like me, I'm sure we could keep some separation. <laughs> Oh, there's a huge greenhouse there. I am going to go crazy with heirloom tomatoes. I know we'll live in that home. That's our family home, and we're entitled to live in it. Um, and we're going to start a different family. Tim's not welcome. 
why I don't like him. What a... I don't like... Even with <laughs> when you were doing coffee time, like he's behind there watching you, supervising you. <coughs> he sounds like he's coughing up phlegm, mucus, lung. Like, you know, with all the money he's stolen, why does he get a shot at the rheumatologist and clear up his lungs? Ugh. Anyway, um, so you went back to work. You better have a shot. I, it, they, they said the average bill is like 17000 That you're gonna, If you live and you don't have health insurance, you're going to you get on a ventilator, you're going to owe tens of thousands of dollars. You're going to be singing at the Monteleone until you're 88 years old. Why don't you? Why don't you want um, to live the life that your father set up for you? Why don't you want to um, pursue what's right? I mean, from from so oh, it's 25 minutes already. I'm gonna quit, but I'm I'm gonna tell you that um, we need to figure out where where they're holding the conservatorship. Um, Britney Spears, there's an attorney that's following her case. She just brought out the court documents um, for and, and the guys that once they're caught, like Louis or your husband or what, they're gonna step down because they don't want criminal charges like him. They don't want they don't want you to investigate what they've been doing with the money. Oh, big Louie. As if anyone's waiting for him to produce another album. What a lunatic. I, I'm going to put him under conservatorship because he's crazy. First thing I'm going to do for his body is whack his you-know-what's off. They start with B. He should not produce another human being. He's evil. Anyway, um, I'm going to get off. I'm going to see if I can load this up. Oh, low battery, low everything. Uh, would you please come visit me? <sighs> let's get our homes back. Let's let's terminate the conservatorship. Let's. I mean, it is soon. We have to figure out where it is, which is really going to piss off the court. That that no one has told us, and it's going to be clear um, at some point that we're fully functioning. <laughs> How in the hell did I pass a first class medical every year as an air traffic controller? Uh, like I lost my, the thing is, that because they've concealed us and hit us, um, and we've never, I mean, they're, I have never received, I one time received a document from Elsie Whitney, who's Elsie DeWolf, and Elsie Whitney died, and there was property in Whidbey Island, and my name was, was um, in the will, and what it said was, don't, uh, make no provision, it's kind of fun to play with fake hair, uh, make no provision for me. Um, so basically I was written out of the will, but why was I related to her? But I think Elsie um, was trustee or whatever for one of the houses. You know, they put, everyone kind of grabbed a house. I want that one. I want that one. Teresa wanted the one in um, the double lot in um, Scripps Ranch so bad that she sued your mom in California. And we were J uh, Jane Doe 1 in Jane Doe too, so I guess I'm one year two, but no one's a, they. It's like um, saying Harry Potter, saying Voldemort or whatever. It's like don't ever say their name because they might hear it, they might figure it out, or someone else might figure it out. Um, and so even in the court proceedings, we were Jane Doe one and two because the names that we were raised with are not our legal names. I'm, I'm uh, a broken record, but. Uh, Try on Carol. I'm gonna. I thought I might might change my name. I, I'm the last name I will, of course, once I get my legal documents restored, uh, which means every little ticket I've ever had, bye bye. <laughs> I get a whole fresh. All those sleeping in the back of my car after drinking wine, um, bye bye. Although I it's sort of like them to stick so they can see how much they tortured me. Uh, <laughs> you know, I I would feel bad if I in any way did something irresponsible or, or um, you know, driving drunk and putting other people at risk and, you know, in a community, I, I think that's wrong. I think it's, um, you should you should get in big, deep trouble for that. So anyway, I don't want to end on that note, but I hope you're doing okay. I'm concerned now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say for me, and all that moisture, I am highly allergic to mold. And you have asthma. 
I would be in a much drier climate for your own personal health. But then I'm not the boss of you today. <laughs> I hope you uh, are okay. I hope that um, you're considering the fact that I might possibly be telling you the truth. Don't think that our DNA isn't out there already and that everyone else doesn't know the truth. The fact that you're, you're holding yourself from, from a fairy tale chapter two. When someone rips out chapter one and rewrites it and you get the opportunity to correct it and to live the life, I, our dad will be jumping for joy in heaven when we are returned to the position we should have been all along. And when they reveal, I am that great and bluey, powerful Oz, and they pull back that curtain and see that wimpy person living off of two kidnapped children. Not a pretty thing. So, uh, are you gonna cut any more albums? You, I don't really um, love the idea of you going to the Monteleone, only because you've done that, and after all these years, if it hasn't launched you, um, I would, I would consider doing something different. And what you have done from you know, doing your your um, Prima La Familia, and doing the um, iTunes, those have been home runs. So it, it seems like um, you might be stagnating. I'm just going to say it. I would love to see you. If I knew that I could drive up there and watch you perform, just because I could never, ever stand on stage and perform. As a matter of fact, I would, you know, I'd be at the library and I'd pick up a, a video and someone is walking behind me and go, what in, you're a singer? And I go, um, no, you know how you can tell? because I would never be able to get in front of a whole bunch of people. Even the, like my, doing the videos has taught me a couple of things. That I'm always sniffing, although I, with the air, you ought to get one. Just an air, a Levitron, a Levoit or whatever is what I got. But I immediately, you know, I get up in the morning and sneeze, not anymore. It makes a small room, it makes a world of difference. Um, clean air. Um, but anyway, I noticed, I thought I had perfectly straight teeth, but I noticed I got a little gap in one of my teeth. I, you know, it's, it's things like that. You're not very um, self-aware. And, so, and, you know, with my chin, I've always been careful. And until I got, I, you know, I have the two crooked eye teeth like your mother, um, but I, and I didn't have braces because they said, we, the dentist said they'd have to crack and reset your jaw. You've got a really high arch. I was like, oh, I don't want that. But I always wanted braces, and of course they could afford it. Our fathers provided for both families very, very well. Uh, and so I went down to Mexico when I bought my house in Yuma. I went, you know, it's like 12 minutes into Mexico. You can get your medications there. For, you know, all the retirees live there, and they go over and back. And so I'd get my listenet pearl for my high blood pressure, the only medical condition other than psoriasis that I have. Uh, and so I went down, and I'm like, how much would it cost to... Um, make this tooth straight. They'll do root canals for, you know, and, and crowns for $350. It's incredibly inexpensive. And they're very skilled dentists. That was a fun thing to be able to go back and forth. But um, it's like, you get a teeth, you can go down there and get your teeth cleaned for 20 bucks. So it's been a while. Um, but anyway, so how much would it cost to just make that straight? How about 250 I go, yeah. Why don't you... I'll come back and get the other side just perfectly straight. Now, why wait for braces at this age? So, at this age, I'm going to be on cruise ships, maybe our own yacht. I'm going to be traveling all over the country. We have a full-time job waiting for us. It's a, you know, that's the, the blessing and the curse, is that we are left so much that we're going to be busy the rest of our lives. I mean, it's a, being a Whitney is not a... Being wealthy isn't an, an easy job. It's scary. When I saw you haven't seen, it'll take your breath away. We own lots and lots of properties and businesses. J.H. Whitney Corporation, the very first, um, uh, the very first venture capitals before they even had a, a word for it. Before Shark Tank, that's what our dad did. 
and he, he um, started Minute Maid and then sold it off. And Mini Igloo, the, the um, cooler, still owns it, I believe. And they have dog food. Uh, the thing is that people other than our dad began making decisions with the corporation that it was left to us. You can't, you know, run a corporation without an owner. They somehow worked that out. It's in a huge building in Connecticut, I think. J.H. Whitney, you'll have to look it up. It's a beautiful brick building, and they've got a, a salon and a New Balance store on the, on the bottom. That's going to be Trader Joe's when I'm done. But anyway, um, oh, why is it it's 35 minutes I have gone on? I didn't mean to. Maybe this will reduce the amount of people. Who in the hell could be watching it? I'm boring. I'm not giving any content that's useful to anyone other than you. But um, we need to get together. We need to file. We're going to file in the United States Supreme Court. Our father was a U.S. ambassador, so the original jurisdiction is the Supreme Court. We don't have to go and chase around, figure out if it was in Destin or in New Orleans. Um, I wanted to tell you one last thing since I'm on a roll. In New Orleans, when a couple, you know, the, the parents die, the money, it's one of the rare states in which the money goes to the children, not the spouse. So your mom got screwed out of your dad. But your dad was broke. I mean, by the time he had spent three years in the hospital, he was in debt millions and millions and millions of dollars. He left you guys and everyone else high and dry. And everyone was waiting for the payoff, so they just took our inheritance instead. So Joe and Jane Joe. Wouldn't it be fun if life worked that way and you could just screw people over without any consequences and live in their mansions? And if you, and if the owner gets close, arrest them, run them off. What jerks! Wait until, wait until they find out who these people are. Doctors that have committed us to a slavery, an involuntary servitude where we're paying. Uh, for people to live in beautiful homes and drive our cars and sell off our 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 artwork. A hundred years worth of collections, but my, our dad really amped it up. He has a huge art collection. Every, one painting sold for like $780 million. Just, it seems inconceivable. To think about that kind of money, you think, that's not me, that's, yeah, it is you. You inherited that. You were born to that. Someone robbed you of that. Our families lied to us our entire life with the sole goal being to take control and steal whatever low-hanging fruit they could steal for all these years. I wonder how little of our father's, you know, his military awards, his, um, there was a, a signet ring that Payne Whitney, our grandpa, wore, and he passed it down to our dad, who wore it proudly. And our dad was a prisoner of war, uh, I think in the south, in, by, held by the Germans in the south of France. I, listen, there's a lot of family history. And um, they were held for nine days, and he just jumped off of a moving train and escaped. But he cracked that ring. But someone has that ring. I hope it burns their finger off. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What a sacred thing to steal. But it's the letters that he sent, the gifts that he's, he tried to send us. Um, our father loved us very much. And if the only thing you do is honor him and restore our family and our legacy uh, and rejoice.